What is up guys? How are you today? Welcome back to a, another video. Very glad that you're here. Today's topic or question or both rather is which season of life are you in? So this video is made with the intention to help you identify which season of life that you're currently in, what exactly these seasons are for, and how to best go about approaching whatever season of life you're in. Now, this is gonna be obviously very personal, very individual, so I'm speaking each one of you individually as well as collectively. So the general messages and the principles uh, that we'll talk about today in the video are meant to really support you in gaining the insights, the knowledge, the wisdom, and preparing or understanding at least why this season of life that you're in is the way that it is. So life happens in seasons. You may be in a season of isolation. Maybe you've been alone a lot. Uh, you don't feel like going and hanging out with anyone. Maybe people aren't inviting you out the way they used to anymore. You've just been alone. Uh, maybe you're nearly single or you found yourself uh, shedding a lot of old friendships. There's a lot of friendships that just simply don't resonate with you anymore. Maybe you're in a season of release, again, where you're releasing a lot of people, you're releasing old habits. Maybe you're in a season of learning, you're studying for uh, a new job or a business you wanna learn, or there's a skill set or something that you have taken interest to, and the universe is guiding you to be in a season of learning. Maybe you're in a season of work and expansion where you've done the planning and you planted the seeds, and now you're in a season where it's time to freaking hit the pavement, start stacking bricks, go to work, uh, you know, knock on doors, make phone calls, put together your game plan and really just go for it and you're in a season of action. Maybe you're in a season of challenge where right now everything is, uh, you know, or you're in a tower moment season, right? Tower on the tarot, everything is burning down in your life and uh, you're wondering, you know, you feels like, oh my God, I'm so overwhelmed, nothing's working out, I lost my job, my relationships are falling apart. That's actually a great season to be in. It's very challenging, it's very tough, that's a great season to be in. So that means basically everything's being burnt down so that you can begin to replant and build a much better life for yourself. Uh, maybe you're in a season of rest. Maybe you've been going hard on personal development, you've been working on your business, you've had your awakening, you've been shedding toxic relationships, you've been integrating into something new, you've been really going hard for a while and working on yourself and your life and you're actually really tired and maybe it's a time for you to go into a season of rest where you peel back activities, you peel back pack social interactions, maybe you need to work on your body, your sleep, things like this, right? A season of recovery, a season of rest, this might be you. Or again, you might be in a season of action, which is kind of what I am. I'm in a big season of um, growth and expansion where I did a lot of uh, planning for what it is that I want, and I went through a big season of isolation and release, and they were kind of happening at the same time, right? I was releasing all these old relationships, these people, these jobs, the city I was living in. I was letting go of so much stuff. I was in a, a place of release and reorganization. That was the season, and it was also a season of isolation. I was really alone. I was by myself, just me and my dog, doing planning and meditation, because again, I was being upgraded and realigned to the life that I want to live, which is what I'm building now. So what season are you in? Well, before we start, understand of course these seasons can overlap. Maybe you're in a season of planning, but you're also in a season of action right now where you're doing a lot of things, you're planning for the future, but the season you're in, you know, you took some time off, you just got back from vacation and chilling out, but you're in a season of action. It's time to do these things. So they can overlap. This video is to help you identify which season you're in by checking in with yourself and what to do with it. So if you've been, in this, maybe you've been in a season of planning for a while, you're like, okay, I've had my awakening, I've had this season of release where I've released toxic environments and, and my job no longer serves me and all these old relationships, I broke up with my boyfriend and my girlfriend or I don't hang out with the same friends. And now you've been planning for a while, maybe you're shifting out of the season of planning and uh, you're shifting out of planning and planting and now you're moving into a season of action. Okay, I'm ready to get out there. I've learned a lot of valuable lessons. I feel like a different person. I know I am. I don't hang out with a lot of the same people. I don't do a lot of the same things. That season of release, old habits, things that are no longer you. And now you've planned and be like, okay, now it's time for a season of action. This is what I'm in. Jumping in. Maybe you are just waking up. Um, well, 
before that season, maybe you're in a season where you, or you've been going nonstop for so long. You've been a, in a season of doing uh, work and kids and your health and you're doing, 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 and maybe nothing's moving forward or, you know, you're starting to feel burnt out. Now you're shifting into a season of rest. So you went from a season of doing and action. Now it's a season of rest. It's a season of reflection you need to move into and you transition in order to plan, okay, have I been effective? In my, are the things I'm doing in my life, is everything aligned, moving me towards that vision that I have for my life? If you don't know, you definitely need to shift into a season of rest and reflection to reevaluate and look at things differently again. You become a new person uh, and now you're shifting seasons. So which season are you in? And I have some questions that I recommend you asking yourself and we'll get into that in a moment. But uh, if you're someone who's watching this, maybe you're just waking up and you're just starting to have your spiritual awakening and you're becoming aware of and realizing so much about yourself and that your life is not what you want. You've achieved some things, but you're not aligned. You're not happy. You're not fulfilled. You're just waking up. You're realizing you've been playing small and you're capable of so much more. You want to work for yourself and you've allowed yourself to be treated poorly in relationships or you no longer want to go out and just get hammered with the boys every weekend and chase girls. You know, maybe you're growing out of that. Whatever the case is, if you're just waking up and realizing, oh man, all this stuff, when you start to wake up and you're, or maybe you're in a season of healing where you're releasing and you're forgiving a lot of past traumas in your life, then you definitely need to be gentle and patient with yourself and understand that rest is so important. Shedding emotional trauma and the actual process of healing and letting go of that mentally, emotionally, physically, spiritually is like the most exhausting work you can do, seriously. See, so maybe you need to rest and chill out because you've been healing a lot and letting go of stuff. In my experience, the emotional healing stuff, my bracelets are all over the place right now. Um, that season of healing, letting go of traumas is the most exhausting. Oh my gosh. When you're really releasing emotional baggage and you're tapping into it and you're awakening, your third eye is opening. Again, you're shedding a lot of emotional baggage, past trauma, family karmic lines. I mean, I swear that stuff, when you do that, it, it has always made me personally, it's the most exhausting in my opinion. And it's made me so tired for, for periods of time that it was like I had done nothing but Navy SEAL workouts for four months straight. And I still wasn't as, I've never done Navy SEAL workouts. Shit, I should, maybe I shouldn't use that example because I haven't done that. But to me, it's the most taxing and exhausting that you can do. It's more than any physical workout or physical task that you'll ever have is going into the emotional, spiritual stuff. Oh my gosh. Because your whole entire vibration is shifting. Your cells are literally reorganizing themselves. You're releasing so much physical heaviness from your body and it's exhausting. It's very, very healing. Um, it's very tiring. Think about if you've ever broken a leg or had a surgery. That time after you have the surgery, that time of healing is so tiring. Oh my God, you're eating so much more. Your body's using so many more calories and energy to heal your body. It's the same thing with your emotional body, your pain body, your energetic body. And when you release these things, it takes so much energy to heal. So which season are you in? First, identify it by asking yourself, just which season am I in? What does it feel like I'm in? Uh, I'm in a, f okay, nothing is happening. I haven't been doing anything. I just want something different. You're in a season of planning. You're in a season of vision. You're in a season of planning and reflecting how your life has been. You're in a season of reorganizing and saying, what do I want? With that is going to come a season of release, a season of healing, because you need to release a lot now that you realize what you've been and that you don't want that. You plan for the future. And you also need to relax, rest, and heal. This is a powerful season. It's setting you up for the vision. It's preparing you. Okay, so what season am I in? Uh, maybe again, you've been going hard and you're like feeling really burnt out and nothing's moving. Maybe you're in a, now you need to move into a season of rest and relaxation, rest, recover, take care of your body, your mind, your spirit, build up your energy reserves and start planning and reflecting again. So this is an ongoing cycle in life. There's no linear. You do this season, this season, this season. Sometimes they accompany one another and it may trigger a different season in your life and they overlap. Just depends on where you are at in your spiritual physical, emotional, mental journey, where your vision is for your life. So see how it's uniquely infinite or it's infinitely unique to each individual because you're going to have some things that this guy doesn't release 
and because he's already handled that but you know you have to deal with stuff that she doesn't have to deal with because this is your journey and this is where you want to go it's different than her journey so you got to do these different things in this order it's going to be very unique but by checking in with yourself and identifying the season that you're in you can plan for the next season and prepare and really allow whatever season you're in to do its thing so that you're fully prepared for the next part of your journey what is the purpose of this season so what is the purpose why does the universe have me in this season of isolation i don't understand i hate being alone i hate being alone i can't be alone for myself why is no one want, why are no people calling me why don't i want to go out what do i just you know i want to be alone but i'm so scared to you're in a season of healing you're in a season of isolation for a reason so that your relationships are being realigned if you hate being by yourself it's because you're uncomfortable with yourself because who are you with when you're by yourself you're with you and if you're someone who hates being alone there's lessons you need to learn there are things you need to let go of in order to not be um you know so there's a new there's a, a place of inner strength that needs to be built in with you an identity self-awareness that needs to be built um so it's going to be different, right? I'm just spitballing things that I've learned, but what season are you in? What is, ask yourself, what's the purpose for this season? What is the universe trying to teach me? What are the lessons I need to learn here? If, if everything's burning down, that's one of the most uncomfortable, but most powerful seasons you can go through. Again, you are being formed into something great. It's up to you to decide depending on what season you're in. Very important question for you to move through this season effectively and, and carry forth the knowledge and the wisdom for your next preparation of life or for the next cycle. What are the lessons I need to learn in this season? Well, I hate being alone. I'm in a season of isolation. So you need to learn how to be alone. You need to learn how, what parts of yourself you're uncomfortable with and why you're so uncomfortable being alone. Why you always have to talk to someone or be doing something or have music on in the background. Why can't I just sit alone in science? What is it that you're uncomfortable with? You need to look at these things. What are the lessons you need to learn? I'm exhausted. I'm so burnt out. Oh my God. Aside from like just going to work, I'm so tired. Okay, you're in a season of rest. It's very important. What are the lessons I need to learn? I need to learn how to better balance my energy and protect my energy during these, these seasons that I'm going through. What are the lessons you need to learn for your individual situation? Most importantly, what, regardless of what uh, season you're in, the most important question or one of the most important questions is, what do I want for my life? What is my vision? Because regardless of what season you're in, if you connect to the end vision and the end goal, the season that you're currently in will make a lot more sense. The insights might become more apparent and more clear because you're like, well, this is the season I'm in, but this is the vision for my life. So what is it this season is teaching me to prepare me for that vision that I want or that I'm creating? So what is the vision for your life? What are the lessons you need to learn? What season are you in right now? What's the purpose of that season? What is my vision? Uh, one of the things that popped into my mind, I used to uh, follow this guy. I never read his book, um, but I'm sure it's great. A behavioral psychologist by the name of James Clear. I highly recommend you look him up, especially if you're into behavioral psychology. He's brilliant. And I used to read his articles all the time. Maybe I should resubscribe to him. Excuse me. But I, I uh, oh, excuse me. never read his book, though, uh, which is Atomic Habits, which I'm sure is great. But anyways, one of the articles that I read was a an approach to effectiveness and energy conservation it's called the four burners theory if you look at a stove there's four burners there's two front burners there's two back burners and basically the four burners theory says you can't burn all four burners super high and pay close attention to all four at the same time what he recommends is you know even when you're you're cooking right when you're obviously that's what you think of on a stove you think about that saying oh it's on the back burner for now so that's essentially what the four burners theory is look at the areas of your life and think about what two areas, the front burners you wanna put on hot. And what are the stuff you need to put on the back burners? For me, physical fitness is always a big part of my life, always has been, always will be. But honestly, right now, my fitness is on the back burner. What, what I'm focusing on is work and career and my home life, my relationships. So spending time with my dad, my dog, living with my brother right now and my sister-in-law, um, you know, the relationship I have with myself. I'm single right now. I don't, I'm not ready to date. I don't want to date right now. So uh, I will when it's time, but I need to set these other solid foundations. So it's family relationships, 
in it for me and it's um and it is whatchamacallit and work and uh you know setting solid foundations at my new job and getting my side projects in my home life and my work are what I'm setting a foundation for right so I can get into this house that I'm gonna move into probably in another month or two set a comfortable home base get me and my dog settled right um having my home environment my relationships and my work those are what are important to me right now adventure and exploration going to festivals and stuff that's on the back burner fitness is on the back burner right now so the four burners theory now these will rotate right when my work and when i'm in my in my new home and i'm settled at home base uh, you know and my work is like cool i'm on the flow great now fitness is going to come on the front burner now my money's all good i'm like you see what i mean like everything's kind of chilling now those things are on the back burner they're on they're on maintenance so now it's about it'll be about adventure, it'll be about fitness, and then it'll be about, um, you know, my side businesses, right? My, so I can work for myself. So it's four burners. So what are the four burners for you? What needs to go on the front burner right now? What needs to go on the back burner? It just all comes from reflection. Quote I'll leave with you with today, there's two of them. Every season is one of becoming, but not always one of blooming. Be gracious with your ever evolving self. Be Oakman. I'm not sure who that is. I just like the quote. So every season is one of becoming, but not always a blossoming or blooming. Be gracious with your ever evolving self. So these seasons, guys, that some of them are very uncomfortable. It's not always a season of love and abundance and expansion. Sometimes it's a season of breakdown. It's a season of burn down. It's a season of release where everything in your life is going to hell, or at least it seems like it. But what you have to understand again is that life is happening for, uh, for you. It's not happening to you. And it's your job to understand what season you're in, what's the intention, what's the purpose, what are the lessons you need to learn, what is the season teaching me, what's the next season, what am I preparing for, what is your vision, okay? Second one, a quote I really liked, if you stay stuck in the past season or fixated on the future season, you will miss the one you're in. Marie D. So this is where meditation presence, practices, grounding, nutrition, sleep, taking care of the basics comes in. You've got a lot of work to do and it's not easy. So identify which season you're in, what are the lessons, what's the intention, and then connect to the vision when you're all done with that. Okay, this is my vision. What season is this teaching me? Okay, oracle card of the day, tap three times. We clear the energy the previous reading. Ask for the purest and most divine truth. My highest good, your highest good, and the highest good of all. you want to share today spirit yeah, this one's good to shove the cards i can't wait till i get to set up my home studio stuff too i can have all my decks out and get get real weird with you guys all right so this is the one that popped out what a beautiful card love this one divine guidance number five archangel sandalphon look at the card what does that represent to you what miss uh colors images meanings pop up that's your Soul trying to speak to you, so it would behoove you to reflect on that. The meaning of the card, the search for meaning in life. Consider an alternative approach. Surround yourself with wise teachers or friends. So if you're in a season of learning, you're in a season of reflection, surround yourself with wise teachers or friends. Maybe it's not physical people, it can be books. These are your mentors also. People on other videos, other YouTube channels, uh, old ancient wisdom, the Tao Te Ching, the... Um, uh, there's so many of them, Siddhartha, like all these old stories, you know, um, the monk with the Ferrari, I think, or the monk who sold his Ferrari, all these different books, right? There's so many different resources. That's what pops me up. The search for meaning in life. To me, this is about connecting with your vision. What is it you want? Where are you going? What season are you in? What lessons do you need to learn? Consider an alternative approach. Maybe you've been doing something and it's not working out. So again, it's a season of reflection. It's a season of planning. What do I need to change? What do I need to strategize? And there's no, the last thing is time, as you know, light worker, you're awakened, you're here. Time is an illusion. So these seasons may last for a week, a month, six months, a year, two years. You never know. Just let the seasons be what they are. It's your job to embrace whatever season you're in because whatever season you're in is preparing you for that next step. There's no need to be alone. There are amazing people around you 
from whom you would gain great strength and support. Seek out those who are like-minded and who share your beliefs and ideals. Make new friends who would benefit from your insights and affection. Take a class on spirituality or join an organization that aims to do good in the world. Archangel Sandalfon can help you find the meaning you're seeking in your life. Be open to other people's ideas and perspectives, but don't be bound by them. If you're taking a very traditional approach to your challenges and things just don't seem to be moving forward, then it might be time to think outside the box. On the other hand, if your attempts to be creative are merely reinventing the wheel, perhaps the old-fashioned way would be better. Additional meanings of this card. Walking your talk. Universities. Resistance to change. Spiritual seeking divine wisdom regardless of what season you're in connect with your own intuitive guidance connect with your own spirit guides connect with the universe you are being guided and protected every step along the way and it's up to you to use the gifts that you've been given to awaken to the greater vision you have as you awaken to the greater vision you have for yourself and you tap into your own intuition your own wisdom and awaken and you start paying attention and become sign aware of the signs the visions and messages that are meant for you you're going to get clear guidance on where you're heading, on what is next. You can't see the whole path because you don't know the way to get there because you've never been to where you're going. So just trust each step along the way and embrace the season that you're in regardless of how uncomfortable, especially if it's uncomfortable. The most painful, uncomfortable seasons where everything is burning down, those are the most powerful. Those where you learn the greatest lessons. That's where you literally transform and become a different person, a better version of yourself. That's what I got for you today, guys. I love you so much, and I'll see you soon for another video. Peace.